Hello, my name is Andrew Friska, and I am the NDSU Serial Extension Plant Pathologist. Today I want to share with you a video of how to use the NDSU Pest Management app if you are a grower. Uh, so in this case, once you have successfully launched and loaded the video, uh, I'm going to say I am a wheat farmer that is dealing with rust issues in my crop. So in this case, I'm going to want to move through. I'm a small grains grower, um, and then select the pest that I am worried about this year. In this case, it's a disease. Uh, once it brings me to the next uh, table, I notice there are a variety of diseases that can uh, affect my wheat crop, but I'm really worried about is rust. In this case, we'll see we'll say leaf rust. Um, you could take a picture, uh, look at for visual examination. Notice we have two rust diseases in this one, uh, the leaf rust here and the stripe rust located down here. So once we have made a positive diagnosis of what disease is in the field, we can look at some options. So I'm looking to make a foliar application of a fungicide to help reduce the amount of rust pressure in my field. Notice after clicking the foliar application tab, I have a variety of fungicides that are labeled for uh, rust management in North Dakota. Uh, in this case, uh, today I will choose Quilt, uh, which is a combination of frac groups. And as you may have seen earlier, uh, we brings us to the what I call the management tab. And here it has the trade name Quilt with the active ingredients as oxystrobin and propiconazole, uh, representing two frac groups, demethylation inhibitors and coronine outside inhibitors. Uh, we have use rates on acres, uh, other diseases that is known to suppress, and any other additional information such as post-harvest intervals or the maximum amount of quilt that can be applied to a wheat crop. If we're looking for more information, uh, perhaps anything on uh, fungicide resistant management strategies, so forth, we do have supplemental information in the general info tab. So thank you for watching this video, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thank you.